Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Sunday, May 3rd, 2015, around 8.17 p.m. in Bellica, Massachusetts. Sun's going down, temperature's going down, but tomorrow it's going to shoot up into the 80s. Several straight days in 70s and 80s. Summer's going to be here early, my friends. Some news to report, the Golden State Warriors beat the Memphis Grizzlies by the score of 101-86 to go up 1-0 in the Western Conference semifinals for the NBA. And also the Houston Astros have won 10 games in a row. They have the best record in the American League. That's amazing. And Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors is going to be named 2015 Most Valuable Player in the NBA. That's no shock to me. No shock to anybody. And that is about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personal IA profile. Tonight's personal IA profile is about a, a meteorologist in Orlando, Florida. I'm talking about Elizabeth Hart, who is the weekend um, nighttime meteorologist for Local 6 in Orlando, Florida. She's been a meteorologist a meteorologist for over 15 years. Elizabeth was born and she grew up in Peoria, Illinois, and she went to Bradley University majoring in journalism and music, and she wanted to become on television on doing the weather. Then she like worked in several TV stations across the country for a few years in home, her hometown of Peoria, Illinois, and a few other stations. Then she moved down to Florida in the mid-2000s. She worked for the CBS affiliate in F Florida, which were, was Ch WFOR in Miami for about a few years. That's owned and operated. And then she moved to Central Florida in the mid-2000s. She first appeared on the syndicated um, morning show, The Daily Buzz, for a couple of years as the w weather lady, and she had so much enthusiasm and stuff. She was always smiling and stuff. And then she joined Local 6 in Orlando, Florida, at first as a weather producer, and then by the fall of 2007, um, Elizabeth became a full-time meteorologist on the weekends for Local 6, and she's been there ever since. She also does some reporting for Local 6 in Orlando, Florida, for like um, the lighter side of news and stuff like that. She's a real, real enthusiastic person, um, Elizabeth Hart is. She like also hosts... Powerball, the drawings in Orlando, Florida from Universal Studios. She's always, it has been doing that for a few years. She's a cute blonde and she has great, great legs and a great smile. In her spare time, Elizabeth likes to play Scrabble. And one of these days, her goal is to become, to, to, to compete in the National Scrabble Championship. Hope she does great because I think she would, really be good at it and she's Elizabeth has a great talent and stuff and maybe one of these days she'll be like national on the weather channel or Fox News doing the weather and stuff because she has that great personality a great smile and of course nice legs and she works at the same TV station as Julie Broughton does and that's about it on Elizabeth Hart and that's about it on these video blogs for the night. I will be back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for three more video blogs. Tomorrow's video blogs will be about the top 10 players in Philadelphia 76's history, then the history of Fox Sports Southwest, and the third and final video blog of the night will be about Billy Smith Tuesday. There's not going to be a top 10 list that's, you know, I'm going to um, rest that for a day. But it's going to be all, all, all 30 NBA teams' top 10 players of all time for a while. I have to get through this. So all 30 teams will be profiled. And Tuesday is going to be my video blog about the memories of the Boys and Girls Club Greater Bell Echo, which should be pretty interesting. 
May sweet month's going to be a great time on these blogs. I'm going to do great blogs, lots of stories and stuff, lots of reviews, movie reviews, Uncle Buck, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, maybe select reviews of select classic television show episodes of T.J. Hooker and Charlie's Angels, also Max 2, Who, and Pizza Me, and so many others. I hope you get to enjoy these video blogs. I love entertaining people with these video blogs, and it's coming up to a year now. June 6th will be the first year, will be the one year anniversary of me doing these video blogs, which is pretty amazing. They could be guests coming in June. We'll wait and see. Well, this is Rich signing off for the night. Good night, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. Bye now.